Okay, so for cosine rule, the most important thing that you must consider is the formula. So the formula that you're able to see here is called cosine rule formula. So it starts with a power 2 is equal to b power 2 plus c power 2 minus 2bc cos capital letter A. So how this formula works and really what you need to consider in order for you to use cosine rule is when you've been given two sides and an included angle. So what does it mean when we say included angle? It means uh, this angle right here you've been given and there are two sides that are forming the angle given. So in case this 4 was this side, this angle shouldn't be included. It can only be included when uh, the two sides of that angle have been given. Okay. So now, the letters that we have here, we've got P, W, and M. While here, we've got what? Uh, we've got A, B, C, if you're able to see. Uh, the advice that I can give you is that whenever you see that uh, the letters that you have are different from what is in the formula, you can start with uh, the included angle, okay? Where there is P here, I'll put capital letter A. And mind you, capital letters, they represent angles. While small letters, they represent uh, sides. So since I've put capital letter A here, I can put this side, my B or C. Okay? Because I want to use the letters which are in the formula. So this would be my B. If this is my B, this would be my C. Okay? So remember this. If you want, you can get the letters which are here already given you put them in your formula but in my video here i'll show you the other way use the the letters which are in the original formula always start with uh, the capital letter uh, of an included angle you, you put a there since this angle is included you put capital letter a right here so after doing that you can now label the side here is small letter a. Remember, the capital letters, they represent angles, and then small letters will represent sides. So this capital letter, the side which is opposite here is a small letter A. And here, small letter B, you see the side opposite, the side opposite, small letter C. So how does a small letter A? Is what we are looking for. So we maintain, we shall say small letter A squared is equal to B, it's a 4 squared c is a 2 squared minus 2 b is a 4 there c is a 2 and then you say cos capital letter here is the angle which is right here and that is a 115 degrees okay so we can uh, work out things here when we solve this is giving us a 16 plus 4 Minus, when we multiply here, 2 times 4, it's 8 times 2, it's giving us a 16. And then here we have, of course, 115 degrees. And then here we shall say A squared, okay, hopefully you're following. A squared is equal to, here it's a 20, minus 16, cos 115 degrees, okay? And from this we can uh, say a squared is equal to, you now punch on your calculator, just punch on your calculator, that is 20 minus 16 cos 115 degrees. So this is giving us a 26.76189219. But because of the power 2 here, you put the square root, okay? And then A here will simply be equal to, when you find the square root of this, it will be 5.173189619. Uh, so I'll write my answer in three significant figures, and this will be 5.173. Thank you so much. Please watch the next video where I'll show you on how to use the same cosine rule when you've been given all the three sides.